I'm going to be reading from the Natural History of the Mineral Hills, a paper prepared by Lori Sanders in 2015 for the Conservation Commission. Among the reasons the Mineral Hills are interesting geologically is the fact that the rock type underlying these hills is different than the bedrock in other parts of Northampton. This is metamorphic rock that is mostly phyllite schist with beds of light gray quartzite. What makes it interesting is that these rocks were metamorphosed during one of several episodes that had island arcs and even entire continents crushing against the proto-North American continent, eventually creating the supercontinent, Pangaea. Some of those original ocean sediments were calcareous or lime. As these rocks weather, the calcareous minerals partially neutralize the soil, which increases its fertility and the diversity of plants that can exist here. The name Mineral Hills was first given to the hills further to the south, near Route 66, and near the border of Southampton, East Hampton, West Hampton, and North Hampton, where minerals like lead and barite were mined during the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. As new maps were made, the entire band of hills became known as the Mineral Hills, the mines have been closed since the 19th century. The quarry itself has been closed since the early 2000s and ceased operations completely by 2007. What do the Brits call these? Wellies? <laughs> I prefer barn boots. <laughs> Lobster boots? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem as gigantic as when you're down in it. I mean, when you're up on the edge, you're going, wow, it's like the Grand yeah, Canyon. Yeah, once you're down here, it's but I'm impressed by the lack of graffiti. You know, that's... How deep is it? Getting deeper. I'm gonna fill up these boots, I'm sure, by the time I get over there. Might be, a, uh, might be another way of getting over there. You can see him? Yeah. Took off. Snakes or something? Something dropped off the rock into a crevice. I think that's Rattlesnake Island that you're going on to. <laughs> It's funny to think that rattlesnakes are native around here. Yeah, I, I wonder how many of them there ever were, you know? Well, they've gone extinct in Maine, New Hampshire, Rhode Island. I mean, Massachusetts is like one of the last holdouts. Supposedly Blue Hills, you know, down near Boston. Uh, it's got a Mount Tom as them. I've talked to people who say they've seen them on Mount Tom. Sort of on the Holyoke side. Uh -huh. It's got that southern exposure. I wonder if some of this is going to be blueberries at some point, too. How long ago do you think they stopped using it as a quarry? Early 2000s. So 15 years, going on 20 years, give or take. And it was really kind of abandoned even then. It was real haphazard kind of yeah. quarrying. Oh yeah, there's some little guys in here. There's one of those frogs that still has the tadpole tail. Wow. Making the transition.
wonder. You get into some of the, there's some birds like uh, ravens that like to nest on rocks. And is that, see right here under this lip, there's a shrub and then there's some like white on the rocks behind it. Yeah. This would be a great place to see like ravens nesting. Or... There's tons of ravens up on Turkey Hall. Are there? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, there you go. Or what do they call them, a uh, murder of crows? Yeah. What are they putting their roots into? Practically nothing. This ledge is, must be left over from the blasting era because it's just so fragmented. That whole cliff could just go. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see where water comes down in here. And this over here looks older, doesn't it? This looks more weathered than that area. This one's ready to go. But you also don't see any marks from the drill. Sometimes you'll see drill marks where they drilled down vertically and put the dynamite in to blow everything loose, but you don't see. They must have taken so much rock out of here. Yeah, oh yeah. To pay for the conservation portion, the city secured a self-help grant and the neighborhood and other conservation groups raised the balance. The neighborhood effort was particularly stunning in less than two months, hundreds of individuals sent in a total of $186,000. Finally, in late 2006, the 30 acres in West Hampton were protected, and in early 2007, the 120 acres in North Hampton, including the quarry, were transferred to the city's Conservation Commission. After 50 years of gravel mining and more than 30 of quarrying, the sand and rock operations on Turkey Hill Road in Northampton were over.